Hello, 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 y'all, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another story time brought to you by ABC Read and ABC Learning, which we are here to help you develop and nurture that love of reading in every child as well as every adult. How are you all doing out there today, evening, real late at night, real early in the morning, middle of the afternoon, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are around the globe? I hope that you all are just doing absolutely spectacular. And I hope that you all have read or you're planning to read for at least 30 minutes. Now, that's what's up. Now, before we get started with this awesome book, of course, again, that I've been reading from, Fish in a Tree, Linda Mulally Hunt, I just wanted to uh, say something really quick to my parents out there who are watching, um, just to remind you all, when it comes to our children's educational journey, when it comes to them learning how to read, please do not depend upon teachers, do not depend upon reading intervention specialists or tutors. You make sure that you're building that foundation in your home first, period. We have to make sure that our children know that we are their first educators. Our children should be seeing us read consistently as much as we possibly can, whether we're sitting down with a book, whether we're listening to books on audio, whether we are reading some articles on our phones or our tablets, the computers. We have to make sure our children are seeing this done because a lot of times we uh, sometimes, well, rather I should say sometimes, you know, you may have parents who have the idea that, okay, well, if my child is not doing good in school and reading, then what are these teachers doing? You know, what are the intervention specialists doing? What are the tutors doing? And it's like, no, first what you have to ask yourself is, what am I doing? Am I making sure that I am reading to my kids consistently? Am I making sure that I'm listening to my kids read so I can, you know, find out what it is that they need uh, some help with? And so these are just some reminders uh, to my parents out there. You know, we have to, we have to, have to be, uh, tongue twister, we have to be vigilant when it comes to our children's educational journey. All right. And something simple as making sure that when it's time to read and you say, you know what you want, you know, um, little Abdul to sit down and get a book. Guess what? Grab your book as well. And you guys read together or say, you know, what? I want to hear you read to me. You know, what book are you reading? You know, what is your favorite part of the story? You know, who was your favorite character? What didn't you like about the story? So when you do these different things, you are showing your children that, number one, you're interested in what they are doing, you know, and also, two, you're showing them that reading is at the top of your value ladder. All right. So with that being said, now I'm ready to read to you all something that I absolutely look forward to doing, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And this book. And we've got a sweet book. Like this book right here. You know what I'm saying? Fish in a tree. Linda Mulally Hunt. Oh my goodness. Allie Nickerson, main character. She got her friends, Albert and Keisha. Keisha, my girl. So she would be my girl if I was in school. Okay. If I was in elementary school, I'd be like, that's my buddy right there. Okay. She don't play. I love that. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Chapter 20. Is this a good thing? I hear the front door slam and Travis calls for me. He sounds happy. I mean, really happy. He appears in the doorway of my room. Guess what? What? I ask, but he doesn't answer. He just stands there with a big, dumb grin on his face. And then I notice what he has in his hand and I jump up. You got it? Really? He still doesn't answer. He just shakes the keys like a baby rattle. So we run outside and sitting there at the curb is a surprise, but not the kind of surprise I'd hoped for. I know it doesn't look like much, but he's wrong. It looks like a lot. It's enormous and bright green. I mean, seriously, it's like a pickle with tires. No, I say, it's cool. You can't lie to me, Squirt. I know you too well. Why are there lines on it? I ask, leaning in. 
Oh, well, I guess the guy that had the car painted it with a brush instead of a spray gun. I have to sand that out and strip the chrome on the side. But the engine is good. It's gonna fly. The only way this thing is gonna fly is if he straps it to a giant balloon. A sketchbook picture is already drawing itself in my head. And there are no computers in a car this old. Just a man and his machine. I look up. Is that really a good thing? He shoves me a little. You'll love it when it can take us places. To the beach, Six Flags. I look up quick. Really? Wherever you want to go, Squirt. I had never imagined that his car would be our car, that he would take me places. You wanna take it out with me now? Sure. Am I pushing or pulling? You're gonna be very sorry you dissed this beauty. I'm telling you, you got to be loyal to your car. Travis, you do know it's only a car, right? Only a car, he asks, only a car? He runs to the other side and slides in. He unlocks the door for me and I get in too. It's a big bench seat. The Walking Liberty half dollar hangs from his rear view mirror. It makes me feel like dad and grandpa are with us. When he turns on the engine, it sounds like a giant with a bad cough. We head up Farmington Avenue past St. Thomas Church. It had been raining all morning, and now it starts again. Big drops of rain fall on the windshield like bombs. Travis says a bad word, pulls over, and grabs a silver spring and a piece of wet rope from the glove compartment. What are you doing? He jumps out into the rain, grabbing the windshield wiper on my side and connecting it to something at the bottom of the window with the spring. Then he ties that wiper to the second wiper and throws the rope through his window and jumps in, laughing and dripping wet. What the heck are you doing, I ask. Three hours, he says. What are you talking about? Three hours after this thing was registered this morning, the wiper motor went. So I went by the hardware store and rigged this up. Watch, with his left arm, he pulls the rope and the wipers clear the window of water. When he lets go, the spring yanks them back down, slapping the bottom of the window. Hey, I thought you said you were a genius, I joke. I am. All geniuses deal with bugs in the system. Isn't that more like what ant eaters do? Hilarious, he laughs. Isn't it a little hard to drive and do that? You're right, Squirt. You could do the wipers, he says, throwing the rope into the back seat. Climb over and sit behind me. Okay, I say, climbing over the seat. I give the rope a pull and then let it go, and the wipers slap up and down. It's kind of fun to see the wiper clear the window, make the blurry clear. And I think about what a great drawing this will be later, and I'm happy for the weird pickle-colored car. Wow, this is fun. And hard, I tell Travis. My arm is getting tired. He watches me in the rear view mirror and laughs. I laugh too, and, and it makes pulling the rope even harder. We pull up to a red light, and Travis tells me to look at the face of the lady riding the car next to us, and I do. She looks shocked, and I think her expression is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Until I see Shay sitting next to her. As soon as Mr. Daniels steps into the hallway to, to talk to another teacher, Shay says in her, I'm being loud on purpose so everyone can hear me voice. So Jessica, yesterday I saw that alley riding in this disgusting green colored car that I can't believe was even allowed on the road. Allie had to pull up a rope to, get, to even get the windshield wipers to work. You must be joking, says Jessica. Allie, what junkyard did you find that heap in? Jessica laughs like she's supposed to. I try to ignore them. 
My mom has always said, you just ignore mean people because they are only trying to get a rise out of you. I mean, <laughs> what kind of loser would have a car like that? Probably the only thing your mother can afford. Finally, I can't take it. It's my brother Travis's car, and it is not a loser car. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> it's a loser car, all right. I guess that makes your brother Travis a loser. <laughs> they laugh. I didn't think there could be a bigger loser than you, Allie. But I guess I was wrong, Shay says. Shut up, I say to Shay just as Mr. Daniels walks back in. You're the losers, you, not him. Allie, Mr. Daniels calls. Come here, please. What, I ask, trying not to sound disrespectful. I haven't known you to name call before. They can call me anything they want, and believe me, they do. But they can't say anything about Travis, never. Is Travis your older brother? He's my big brother. He half smiles. Is there a difference? Yeah, there is. An older brother is older. A big brother looks out for you and smiles when you walk into a room. He nods slowly. I see. He clears his throat. I understand you're upset, and I appreciate that you're defending your brother. But walk away next time, okay? I nod, but I have to admit that I'm getting awfully tired of walking away. All right, you guys. Oh, my goodness. The plot thickens this book is just totally, totally awesome. I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't know about you guys, but I am really happy that she did defend her brother. That's Shay. She was acting crazy. She need to get told off. I'm just saying, sorry, parents out there. If you feel like, hey, she should have walked away, but you know, I ain't trying to be a bad influence, but um, it gets to a point, in my opinion, when you do have to stick up for yourself and they were being extremely out of pocket, in my opinion. So I'm glad she told her to shut up, but hey, nevertheless. I hope you guys are really loving this book and I hope you all tune in next time for our next chapter of this awesome book. Again, Fish in a Tree by Linda Mulally Hunt. And remember to keep reading for at least 30 minutes a day. Happy reading, family.